everyone, and welcome back to Alan Wake 2. This is episode 6. Last time, we completed Alan Wake's haunting chapter and began Saga's local girl chapter. We walked around the town of Watery for a little while, and then we've started to explore Coffee World. As we've arrived through the gates, mystery awaits. I had to split up the episode into two pieces because there's just so much to uncover. So strap yourselves in and get ready for another episode of Alan Wake 2. Let's see what happens this time. Hello? Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Elmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. God. The atmosphere of the haunted coffee world. I love it. Here's our map of Coffee World. Latte Lagoon! Don't pet Mocha the Moose, he bites. Well, they don't have Mocha the Moose anymore. Oh, of course you're locked. Of course you are. Locked. Need something to jimmy it open with. So the Jimmy it open thing, investigation, it's always the screwdriver and there's a bunch of locks that are screwdriver related and I don't have a screwdriver. A list of maintenance work. So hopefully this will be where I finally get the screwdriver and now all of those locks can previously be opened. A screwdriver? Huh. Hey, the lock is jammed again. I forced it last time with a screwdriver, which has disappeared again. Push it back when you use it. Uh, Coffee World entrance sign defaced, cleaned with detergent wax sign. Should be good until someone tags it again tomorrow. Slow roaster pot is stuck, won't swing. I hit it with some WD-40, seems good for now. Fallen tree near Latte Lagoon. Should probably call the tree guy. Chainsawed and removed. Keeping the wood. Several burned out bulbs and percolator. Replaced and ordered new bulbs. Uh, squeaking on Latte Lagoon Car B, tighten the bolts, less bad now, and percolator, control panel jammed, removed front with screwdriver, found a penny in there. So, percolator control panel, looks like is how we're going to get the screwdriver. If the author of these pages wanted privacy, that ship has sailed, I'm afraid. There's a crossbow inside better in my hands than theirs. And the note inside talks about dead, taken, lunchboxes, knitting, interesting. Scratch just needs the clicker to make his ending into reality. Can't let that happen. Coffee World. Coffee World. The most caffeinated place on Earth. And yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Coffee World is certainly interesting and empty. Ilmo said someone would help me get the key, but nobody's here. <laughs> It almost said someone would help me, but no one here. Looks like I need to find my own way inside. Percolator? The name of a ride, maybe? Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. Okay. No shooting padlocks off in this reality. We must need screwdriver. And then we'll go all the way back to Cauldron Lake just to bust open that one thing. <laughs> mm. 
another cult stash here. Another cult stash? Only striped cups. And then a, like, rotating symbol. Only striped cups. Oh, that'll be on, like, the Ferris wheel. We're sorry. Alright, so let's have a look at the striped cups. Um, there you go. So they've all got numbers. Here's a stripe. Uh, the number one. Four. And... This one. Waiting for this one to come down. One, four, seven. Just in threes. Okay. Do not take what is not yours. I'll take what I like. Thank you very much. Working our way backwards through the coffee world. The percolator is where we want to go. Naturally, we're going to go the opposite way. The Huatari Well. From 1913, legends say this is the dwelling place of the evil water spirit, the Naki, who lures people to their watery graves. In the early days of Watery's history, this very well was where Ilmari Huatari hid the bodies of his victims with the help of his brother, Yakopi Huatari. We're just going to take those first names as coincidence. <laughs> It was only after Ilmari murdered his own brother that their gruesome acts came to light, but it was, was it madness or the spirit of Naki possessing Ilmari that drove him to murder like him, he himself believed? Is there more to this well than meets the eye? So we've got Ilmo and Yako, and we're just going to acknowledge that as a coincidence that they also happen to be um, part of this whole coffee world arrangement in the same place. Hmm? And then there's the motorcycle club, which we can't get to yet. Can't be opened on this side. Okay. That's an intriguing little mystery for you. That does not look nice at all. Jesus. Espresso Express. There's numbers on these. Wonder if this will be tied to anything. No power. Must be a fuse box around here somewhere. Okay. In that case, maybe we'll actually be back here for something. A fuse is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. Okay. Guess we're on the lookout for a fuse as well. Guess there's a cult stash around here as well. Potentially. Yep. Another cult box. 
What's behind? What hides behind the smile? Okay. Um, what is that? What hides behind the smile? Smiling coffee pot thingy. for a code, we're looking for a key. So I need to look for a smiley thing. The freshly dropped popcorn. <laughs> when you ask, Maya Setter will speak. So we've got another Maya Setter thing. When you ask, Marisetta will speak. No way, it's not a dog. Oh, here we go. What's behind the smile? This isn't creepy at all. Mocha the moose. One morning during Coffee World's construction, a wounded moose was discovered taking shelter inside the Fresh Pot gift shop. Though limping from a leg injury, this wily moose proved too quick for wildlife rescue. After a long and unsuccessful chase, everyone stopped for a much needed coffee break, brewing up some of the Coffee World's finest. Before the first cup was poured, the moose appeared, drawn by the delicious aroma. He allowed himself to be treated in exchange for a steaming mug of what is now known as Mocha's Signature Blend. Since then, Mocha the Moose has become a beloved fixture of Coffee World, welcoming guests from across the country, as well as personally taste testing each of our roasts to give them the Mocha seal of approval. Amusing Mocha facts. Mocha is around six years old. Did you know Moose can live up to 25 years? Mocha weighs 820 pounds. Did you know Moose are the largest species of deer in the world? And Mocha loves to swim. Did you know Moose can dive up to 20 feet underwater? Mocha's favorite drink is coffee. Did you know that Mocha is the only known moose with a caffeine addiction? Wow, look at look at Mocha, such a realistic moose. See you latte. Alright, there we got an exit now. Behind the smile. Should we, uh, should we disable these supports? <laughs> or is it just talking about maybe a little further behind? Well, I guess we can take a fuse from this ride and put it on the other one. Actually, hang on. What's behind the smile? These are rotating. So we might have to stop this ride, get the fuse, and then the key might be in one of the the seats. Balloon pop, two dollars for five bolts. Hit a balloon to win. Ah, actually it might be here, what's behind the smile? Maybe. Damn, I only got one of those back. Pain. We actually weren't supposed to participate. Rip.
And all the smiling faces are killing me. Well, here's the percolator. This is where we'll get, hopefully, a fuse and a screwdriver, I suppose. Jesus! <laughs> Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. <laughs> Have a beautiful day! Oh my god. That's awful. Well, that's what's behind the smile. Fucking Ilmo's Mr. Drippy. <laughs> that is horrible. Oh no. Not the rubber ducky. Somebody get the FBC in here. Latte Lagoon. <laughs> the love is still going. It's so awful. There's so many more smiley things than I thought there would be. Yeah, I reckon we'll have to wait for the flood to subside on this one. What kind of exercise does to do? Okay then. Oh no, don't do that to me. As soon as I arrive, you're gonna shut down. Nope. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Oh no. Oh, wait, I'm being fucking moved. Oh, God. Jesus fucking Christ. Is there another one behind me? Oh, it's just the one. Okay, there's two of them. Jesus. That caught me off guard. I thought there was only one, so I thought I would get away with using the crossbow. Nope. My lord. Hey, this should get that gift shop open. We got the screwdriver, baby. Time to open some shit. Alright, so... My plan of what's behind the smile here did not work out at all. Unfortunately. And I don't think we're getting a fuse from here, even though this kind of makes sense that we would get it from here. Hmm. Maybe there'll be a fuse in one of the boxes, um, things that we can open. Point of interest is the well. Oh, awesome. All right, let's try this. Whoa, the hello? You okay? Just teleporting all the way across the What the fuck? That's not okay. That 
when you will you die? Jesus. My fucking god. The way that, like, she just teleports all the way across the map. That's a good way to keep track of your enemies. My lord. Lost cat. My name is Tibbles. Another one of those lunch boxes. You can do anything you put your mind to, hero, as long as you put your mind. So long as what you put your mind to is part of the story. Nine fragments, that's nice. That's a good amount. Um, so we've got 16. And almost fire two shots of the crossbow before reloading. Reload speed of the shotgun or increase damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. I reckon we'll save up for a crossbow upgrade. Alright, let's get this lock open, shall we? Screwdriver? Nice. Now where is that safe? We got a manuscript page. Coffee World attacked. Sorry, we're at a Bright Falls blend. Anna apologized to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee World is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Huatari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. Ugh, okay. From the well. Good news, if we're ever out of flashlight batteries, we've got enough flares to light up the whole world. God. There's the safe. Hey, little more heads up. Got another angry voicemail from a parent about a kid poking us himself in the eye with one of the souvenir pukos. Whose grand idea was it to sell kids plastic knives in a coffee-themed amusement park anyway? All right, it was yours. Jeff, I need another moose favor. Mocker was doing just fine. He even got a glowing vet report, and then bam, they say it was a heart attack. Oh no. I'm not blaming you. Maybe you just had a bad ticker. No tolerance for stimulants either. We're telling kids that Mocker's taking a little vacation, but I could really use your help ASAP to maintain continuity. Do you have any more in stock? Thanks in advance, Ilmo. He said he needs another moose favor. We've been, we've been feeding multiple moose coffee and just killing it because of multiple heart attacks. And it's like, hey, I need another moose. I hate that. That sucks. <laughs> it's not just one moose, it's multiple and they're all dying. Um, now, I don't think we've got the safe code. Oh, hang on, here's your, here we go. Why did you change the damn password? What would Ilmo use for a code? Why did you change the damn password to the safe again? I thought it was lookout fixer supplier. Who hurt you? Why are you so paranoid? Calm down. This one's easy. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. See? Not rocket science. Ilmo. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Oh, I've got to do profiling? Okay. I 
I need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzle, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yaku. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Okay. So we're looking for tracker, lookout, cleaner. Coffee World staff. Hope they're not all monsters now. Remember to bring your liability forms for Tuesday's Bring Your Dog to Coffee World Day. The photos have stickers on them. Ah. Congratulations to Thomas for completing his first year at Coffee World. As usual, this work anniversary earns you a free packet of freshly ground coffee. The percolator is unfortunately undergoing maintenance, but don't worry, we will fix it as soon as possible. Susan, lost and found. Stuart, maintenance. Thomas, ride operator. Victor is the janitor. Nina's the gift shop. Yunus is security. Lucy's the caregiver. Robin is the park walk around. And Anna's the concession stand. So, um, this will be associated with numbers. So, what we have, um, let me associate those with people once again. Hold on. Uh, tracker, lookout, cleaner. Okay. Um, tracker is lost and found. So one lookout would be, I would say security. And then janitor is the cleaner. So one, four, six. If the if the security one is correct, cool. The keys to my trailer. Now to find the clicker and the Colt. Okay. Lovely. We're still not done here because I've got to figure out the the cult stash one here. What was this point of interest again? This? Oh, oh, hang on. There's an. What the fuck? All the toilets are out of order. Get your shit together. <laughs> I guess that's the point of interest. Yeah. Oh, actually, hang on. Ah. Oh. Here we go. We got the key. So I was looking behind here. I was just looking behind it in the wrong place every time I would come here. Okay. We got the... we got the key, baby. We can open this stash. Mystery solved. What's that stash? Yeah. Hello, Coffee World stash key. Give me my stuff. I got some more bolts. Good weapon stash. M and T was supposed to be on patrol last night, but didn't show. If anyone hears anything from them, let me know. M and T. Ah, oh, Mulligan and uh, what's his face? Who's the other guy? I don't think it's Trevor. My brain wants to say Trevor. The two, the two cops. All right, so the point of interest that's not going away, I'm pretty sure, is the well. Some points of interests just don't go away. 
um, and others do. We're finished with Coffee World. We can now head to the trailer park, it looks like. will be headed to the lighthouse at a later date. Alright, down here we go. The page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. Okay. <laughs> Maya Setter is not afraid of the rough questions. Maya Setter is not afraid of the rough questions. Oh no, which is a shame because that, you know, that lost cat thing that they're talking about, that lost cat poster, it's probably tied to this dog that's apparently a cat killer. <laughs> More bolts. Okay, we're carrying a lot of stuff, aren't we? What's over this way? This is goes up to the lighthouse, that whole thing. We'll have to explore that another time. Oh shit, Torn Odin. In the rain, uh, must not drink the water uh, or take a bath ever again. Moonshine, oh. only drink the moonshine, brother. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Don't look like cultists. They're getting on in years. It's not helping. I don't feel like myself. No. I don't know how to fight it. We're too old. Excuse me. I'm looking for the Anderson trailer. What? Oh, okay. Sweetie pie, right on time. Like we were just saying, it's not true. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down, they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. <laughs> stop the hell of it! <laughs> These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Vikings. Gods. It's so good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin, and this is your long lost Mordefar, Tor. Sarasoga. He is your grandfather, and I am the old father. <laughs> Hmm. 
Just as crazy as everyone else. Are you sure about that? Just as caught in it. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. Look at these two. You have things to do, sweetie pie. We don't want to keep you from your business. You can come see us anytime at our resting place, Valhalla Nursing Home. <laughs> So, Poets of the Fall, Arty and the Janitors, Horde Mode, Old Gods of Asgard. Your name is Anderson? Same as you, kiddo. Tor Anderson, Odin Anderson, you old gods of Asgard. That's our band. You're... You are Saga Anderson, goddammit. A Viking goddess. I like the sound of that. Tor, Odin, Saga. All Norse inspired. Plus the same last name. A coincidence? Did the horror story change their names to match mine? Did I forget that these guys had the Anderson last name? Was that revealed in the first Alan Wake game and I've just forgotten? Or is it what Saga's saying and they've potentially been changed? I actually can't remember. It looks like you two have had a bit too much fun. She sees right through us, bro. She has the power. This calls for a fucking celebration. Our little Saga all grown up and finally home. Sure, we've had a few sips. Just a taste. The famous Anderson Moonshine! Oh, the nectar of the gods. You want some? No, thanks. Have you seen any strange people in deer masks? I haven't drunk enough for that yet. You can see all sorts of wonderful things when you make your way down the bottle. Even more so with just one eye. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> so, do you know where the Anderson trailer is? Right behind us. We've been looking after it since you left. Uh huh. Thanks for your help. Anytime, kiddo. Yep, since we left. All right, there's a lunchbox around here somewhere. Oh, fucking hell. What time is it? Gotta head back to the bus soon, brother. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? You can overcome adversity and achieve your goals. Mom wants to stay on our good side. Okay, we got um, more manuscript fragments. So we're looking at 23. Let's get this two bolts. Saga realized the crossbow could hold two shots at the same time. Had she just not noticed before? Or had the weapon changed somehow? Like in a dream? Kind of like, she's like, she didn't realize. Is she stupid? Wonderful. Alright, we've got the Anderson trailer. But then there's also other places. <laughs> Oh my god. Hello, Who is this incredibly attractive martial arts master? It's me, your brother, Ilmo. I now recognize you, but Ilmo, why are you dressed like that? Deerfest is almost here, which means we're just <laughs> chopping the prices on all of our custom designed Deerfest parade floats. Floats created by the award winning team at Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. Winners of last year's trophy for best deer fist float featuring an animal that is not deer. That very team. And you're gonna get a kick <laughs> out of our latest float designs. <laughs> We've done it all. Deer fist floats, restaurant floats, floats shaped like things we can't show on television. <laughs> our floats are the best way to impress your friends propose to your partner or throw shade at an office colleague and we don't do just deer fest our floats are a perfect gift for weddings birthdays and boring mitzvahs or your are gonna <laughs> our floats 
Because, 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 And that was the people liked it. And there you have it. Award-winning boats now at reduced prices that will <laughs> knock you off your feet. <laughs> Order yours today. Okay. Thank you, brothers. Very cool. <laughs> The jump scare of just like entering a room and just having it be the TV just blasting the sideways spiral from the beast within. Ah, we got time. <clears throat> Blum wants to stay on our good side. So we can just have a look at other people's houses too. We got another deer to pat. That's a good deer. Everyone that we see. Do you think we missed Scotty's show? Who cares? Oh, and there's a lot of flooding. Tango shit is bad for your head, bro. We'll have to wait for the flooding to go away to check out more of this place. Hero's Tango is uplifting. Let's have a look at the Anderson trailer, shall we? Because it's already quite an extensive chapter so far. We'll try and squeeze in some exploration. Reeks of booze. In the next chapter for Saga. Look at all this stuff. And there's a photo of Logan. The same one. The FBI mug. A bunch of like cases. Documents. Criminal justice. A critical look at a broken system. The plot chickens. Because I know you love a good pun. Ilmo. An architectural mystery, uh, murder at the manor house. A pun book from Elmo. Are we close in the story? That might explain some of his behavior. Mm. Excellent puns for the comedy head in your life. Did I leave the Bureau in this fictional reality? Agent Anderson, our deepest condolences for your loss. The Bureau knows it's an incredibly hard time for you. I personally can assure you that we are committed to your well-being and will allow the time needed for your recovery from this tragedy. The FBI is here for you. We'll be ready to welcome you back to work as soon as you're ready. We could really use that insightful mind of yours, so we hope to see you back in our ranks soon. Supervisory Special Agent Stacy Marrow. Oh, what if this all did happen and then she went away and then these phone calls with Logan are just... I don't know. What if that's the story instead, you know? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. More clues available. There's some positive affirmations inside. Cute. The note inside mentions the story. Is this person aware of the horror story too? The note inside reference cult members M and T. <laughs> it referenced cult members, so it might not be Mulligan and what's his face, but it also might be if they're secretly part of the cult. More warnings inside. People must break into these fairly frequently. Note found in Colter Stash mentioning M and T. So that would be... Who's involved? Ah, oh, there you go. Thornton. Mulligan and Thornton. Not Trevor, what did I say? <laughs> Thornton. And it's even hinted at on the case board. There you go. Agent Marrow asking me to come back to work. And we've seen Marrow's name on the certificate before in this mine palace on the wall. In the story, I took a leave of absence from the Bureau. 
looks like it was a present. Were we close? And Odin claims he's my grand uncle and that Tor is my grandfather. Nope. Nope. So the story is giving me wacky relatives now. Still, there's something off about these guys. Mom never talked about her family. <clears throat> Anytime I asked mom about her home or family, she shut down. I have no idea who my grandparents are. Okay. Figured all this out already. So this goes here, and that goes there. Oh, cool. So if you actually figure stuff out ahead of time and you haven't put things away, the game automatically places it all for you. That's kind of fun. Addressed to me from years ago. Wake was right. The horror story is changing reality, not just people's memories. Look at that moldy ass pizza. Anderson Moonshine, Saga Anderson, Six Watery Lighthouse, Trailer Park Way, Unit Number Two. Make your check payable to Washington Power Co. So February 22nd, 2018. This card has mom's handwriting. A little bird told me that it's your birthday, so be sure to give yourself some special tweetment. I love you, Logan. Grandma F. Grandma F. Oh, what's our, what's our mum's name? Frigg? Or Freya? Or Frigga? Or however they want to, like, spin it. Um... I don't recognize the card, but that is definitely Mum's handwriting. The bill is in my name, dated February 22nd, 2018. God, they've really been drinking in this trailer for sure. Looks like Lugan even has a room in here. Everything here reminds me of Logan. Wow. Old Gods of Asgard, room. Night Springs. This is getting too real, too personal. <laughs> They're playing control. That's the, um, God, I can't remember the name of it, but when you're in like, you, you have to face that dark creature with the one eye. They're playing control. <laughs> then there's Odin and Tor, and the deer. And the ride at Coffee World. To Logan, keep on shining, little rock star. Your proud great granddad and great grand uncle. New season, Night Springs. Saga, the FBI agent. Off she goes, leaving the family behind. My newfound relatives. Cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker, in the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carly Vala Knights. The motorcycle that's club. That's the motorcycle club the Coskella brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home, right after I find this biker workshop. There it is. No. It's, it's not true. It's just a fucking story. It's not true. Logan's back home. She's fine. Fuck. She's at school. David. I'm in the story and it's coming true. Wake said Scratch would try and hurt me with the horror story. But he said there's still time to stop this. That he can stop this with a clicker. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David? Is Logan okay? Call me back as soon- Oh, it's Mulligan. Yo. 
Mulligan? The fuck? Hey! Stay where you are! Damn, there's our cultist. Damn, alright, hang on. Is a cultist? What the fuck is going on here? Before we do that, I'll just quickly check what I've missed in here because I didn't realize that that was going to be the the thing that was going to kick everything off. Um, the Nordic Tales book Mom gave to Logan when she was little. Nordic Tales and Folklore. Connie Chu, the wildlife of the Pacific Northwest, the kind stranger, the very old house. The ribbon-hearted girl. The very old house, huh? Bon. Logan used to love her music. Logan's junior agent certificate. So cute. Okay. I think that's everything in this room. We just missed that one corner. Alright, Mulligan the Cultist. I actually thought that seeing that newspaper was going to be the end of the... Um, I thought that was going to be the end of the chapter, but no. It continues because now we chase after Mulligan. I remember this. It was take your daughter to the work day. Logan was maybe eight. This happened. Logan loves Bond. I took her to a concert in DC for her 12th birthday. This isn't fake. Mom gave this to Logan when she was a baby. The stories are a bit scary, but she loved the pictures. This is real. Yellowed clipping, drowning of Logan Anderson, age nine. <sighs> no, Logan's not dead. Oh, that's cool. No, this is the story trying to hurt me. It's not real. Actually crossing one out and scratching it out. Photo with Tor and Alden with cultists, and they have the clicker. Tor and Odin are clearly friendly with the cult of the tree, not conclusively members. Logan's fictional room contains her actual mementos. Um... Where would this go? <laughs> uh, he's scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. Okay, please. Ah, oh, change reality. Duh. Does every single one. Maybe Wait can't invent wholly new ideas, has to use what already exists. I like that you can click on the these and it like gives you their dialogue again. All right, after Mulligan. Oh, Jesus. Up the tree. Thornton too? God damn it. And now they're all taken? Hey. about Logan wasn't real. Don't think about it. The cult has the clicker. Get it? Fix this. <laughs> oh my god, stop. Be in there later with bolt cutters. stabbing again and again. Hey, look. This is the workshop from the photo with the cultists. This is where they had the clicker. If it's still here, I need to find it. Okay, investigate the workshop. Ooh, felt such an intense chill up my spine just then.
inventory full. Oopsie. Um, that's right. I got something that I can use to heal ourselves with this. Free up some space. Oh. <sighs> Cult symbols. It's creepy. Stop right there. The shape stumbled out of the dark toward Deputy Mulligan. Thornton was doubled over, coughing. A chunk of cold pastrami caught in his throat. Bring it, fucker! Mulligan fired. Thornton hacked the pastrami out of his windpipe, opened fire with his partner. The monster fell. They kept shooting. The thrill of domination. This was the cult of the tree. Not one tree. A forest. Secret knowledge in a deer mask. A last line of defense. yippee ki motherfucker. Bright Falls fucking finest. They crept over, pulling out their flashlights. The horror. This is Monica from the tackle shop. An innocent woman. Thornton's pastrami came back up. Yikes. Look. When in doubt, throw the lid out. Okay, let's take a look at some emails. Hello, I've seen some of you place our stashes in the open. Please don't do that, you rascals. Stash the stashes. So the motorcycle club might be the cult as well. And that's all tied together. Stop it. This is your final warning to stop taking the OOP out of the assembly hall. You want to get drunk in the workshop? Fine. But the OOP is for ritual use only. You idiots are worse than my kids. Paycheck. Charlie. Hi, Uncle Limo. Hope you're well. Charlene and I still haven't received our paychecks from last month's Coffee World promo work. Are you sure you sent them? Could you double check? Maybe they slipped through the cracks. Also, Charlene wanted me to tell you that her suit still smells weird. Charlie. Float work? The DFS floats are eating up our space. Try to keep things neat and tidy around the workshop, okay? I can't find my tools. I can't even find my left hand, even through it, though it's attached to me. But I will find my boot up somebody's ass if you all keep making a mess. Sauna night. Hello, fellas. I suggest we start taking a regular sauna right now that the old place is working again. What's the best time for it? How about a classic Saturday night session? I'll bring the sausage and mustard, BYOB. Not everyone enjoys frying themselves to death, Ilmo. And who the fuck would pick mustard over ketchup, Fred? <laughs> Elmo, ignore Fred. He doesn't have what it takes, and he's wrong about the ketchup, too. It's obviously chili mayo on nothing. Thanks, everyone, for your valuable input. I'm assuming that means Saturday sauna night is on. Sauna is good for the body and good for the soul. You may not like it, but it likes you, and all condiments are welcome, of course. Lock combination. Hey, Elmo, I can't find the new door lock combination. Look inside the smiley coffee cup. Doesn't help me. It's always the fucking puzzles. <laughs> So, they're also part of the cult of the tree. It's all connected. The fuck was that? Ush. <laughs> nice. Look at that little tree. Poor thing. Another one. I'm waiting for this to be a jump scare. One of these one of these days I'm gonna pat one of these things. And it's gonna be a jump scare. Oh, 
all these floats. All right, inside the smiling coffee cup doesn't help him. Oh, it's symbol related. Okay, there you go. Um, so I think it starts from here. So it would be uh, up, down, triangle, diagonal, triangle, up, down, triangle. I need better names for those symbols. Okay. Locked. They must be in there. There has to be a way to get this lock open. Is it in the is it in the other order then? Ah, oh, it'll be in the order that you can see it visually. So just reverse these. Did I get one of these wrong? Pretty confident in what I'm looking at. Oh, there was two that looked very similar in the middle there. This is the cult hideout. Their headquarters, even? Wow. All of the stuff. And now the deer mask on the, the, the well history thing makes sense. This has been a family history thing. It's been going on for quite a while. There's a basement. Damn. Okay. We still do not have any inventory increases, so we're going to throw some more things away. Um, just to free up some space. should be good. You got a whole line to deal with. There you go. Alright. That light switch you found washed up at the lake is not junk. It's fucking important. Trust me on this. From now on, whenever we catch a target, we gotta cut out its heart, stick this thing inside, and flick it. I know it sounds weird, but just trust me, it'll be like a ritual. This is gonna work. I'm pretty sure... With the ritual for Nightingale, when they took the heart out, they mentioned that they were missing something, I think. I marked the map like you asked. That's all the stashes by our last count. Locked and loaded and ready to go. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Nice, and now we know where they all this are. This will be handy. That's it. This is the cult's process. Well, we've learned a lot. The cult isn't well organized. People aren't following orders. The Nightingale ritual wasn't completed. Mm. Everyone, please read. I'm not trying to play the blame game, but can we cannot let random tourists walk right into one of our rituals. We were stopped before we got to use the clicker. Hell, the lights weren't even set up yet. It's unacceptable. So let's look at the learnings. We need to be faster with our setups. We need to be 100% positive someone is on lookout duty. Communication, communication, communication. Slip-ups like this are why we have FBI agents snooping around, which is not great. I'm only being harsh about this because I know we can do better. So we're an FBI agent snooping around, but these people also know us and are familiar with us. Hey, I'm, yeah. Like they're friendly with us, but like at the same time, are they faking being friendly with us? Because it's all part of the story. I'm getting so affected by this i'm confused to whoever has been sabotaging lake house equipment stop it if you're looking for ways to help the cult this is not it unless bringing the feds down on us is what you consider helpful in which case you can fuck right off stay away from the fbc and if you see them poking around again report it to the grand master oh so it makes sense why ilmo was like hired with this fbc guy who's like keeping tabs on him the ritual for Taken, surround the target, subdue them, use hammer or other blunt object, restrain them, carve out their heart, recite the words, put the clicker into their chest, flick the switch two times to make sure it works, remember floodlights on tripods, we need to see what we're doing, and always work in pairs. Always work in pairs, Mulligan and Thornton and Ilmo and, um, what's his name, Juka? Um, we're seeing multiple pairs. Cold of the tree. This is some big time information. Coldest note about ritual being interrupted. OK, 
Okay. Um, well, it's not the cult ritual. Um, about it being interrupted. Doesn't make sense. Oh, right. It was about the Nightingale ritual. The confirms the ritual wasn't interrupt was interrupted. It says they didn't have time to use the clicker. Cold just note admonishing members sabotaging FBC equipment because then the FBC come to fix it. Um That's not right. Not fanatics. No signs of indoctrination. Messy group of enthusiastic sociopaths. No detailing the steps of the cult ritual. <clears throat> the steps on the ritual are listed here, consistent with what we found at Nightingale's murder site. And... Mulligan Thornton. Yeah. Confirmed cult members. And now we have a basement. We're getting deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole, and deeper we go. A creepy basement. shit like the crown of horns not a crown of thorns something a little bit different that's the clicker is this a trap Oh Wait, shit. They're playing with me. I was so close. Get the clicker from Mulligan and Thornton. Okay. The deputies, holy shit, dude, the profiling images look fucking amazing. Mulligan and Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like milk. The thrill of domination. Not one tree. A forest. The word. A secret like this one doesn't die. There is more than one leader. Hmm. Okay. More than one leader. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. There's an overlap here, like there was at Cauldron Lake. Mulligan and Thornton are like Nightingale. Inside, waiting. And a parade float is the key. Saga fights taken at the workshop. Saga had read about it. The trap. She knew what was waiting for her. The moment she saw the giant, she knew she wasn't ready. You let Logan drown. The weapon it carried could crack her skull like a brittle egg. Brains leaking out like yolk. Everything she loved, lost. Everything she was, lost. We will watch it eat your mind. Reading this made her sick. But the fear was sharp when she faced it. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker with them, left this monster here to stop her. Hmm, okay. More profiling for the deputies. 
Am I being attacked right now? What is going on? Oh, okay. I'm like, what is shaking? Something big is above us. I'm like, why is my mind palace shaking? Mulligan and Thornton were fine earlier. How did this happen? Terrible mistake. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Shadows on their faces, filling the shape of them. Bright Falls fucking finest. Shitty pastrami sandwich. <laughs> Mulligan and Thornton became like Nightingale. Mm. Okay, there you go. I love the way that when you're profiling and it's still playing a cutscene, like it's shaking. The taken is upstairs. Uh, because of what's it's happening trap. upstairs. Like it's still affecting what's taking place in the real world while you're in your mind palace, even to that level. Take it in the workshop, baby. Oh, Jesus Christ! that parade float yeesh oh it's the dark presence throwing shit at me it's getting ready to throw shit at me okay is this the parade float the page mentioned Haunting laughter echoed up from the well. Huatari butchered his victim with his puoko knife, which they sell at the thing. <laughs> Masks. Yeah, good damn. So relevant to what's still happening. I formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. At Cauldron Lake, giving the poem and the heart to the witch sign opened the overlap. Uh, it's the parade float, but it's incomplete. Oh, then I know what we have to do. Okay, so this one comes to mind immediately. So haunting laughter echoed up from the well. We need to go back to that coffee thing that had the tape recorder on the back of the thing. We need to put a mask on this guy. We need a knife and then I guess something to do with the knife still. This is one disturbing parade float. Not sure what Puko means, but it looks like the knife is missing. How come one of them is wearing a mask and the other isn't? Stabbing again and again. That must mean the arm's supposed to move. Uh, which means you probably need like a fuse for it maybe or something. Oh, hang on. Look. Here it is. The tape recorder is there. You just need to get the tape. I don't hear any haunting laughter. There's the clue for you. There's a lunchbox around here. More of those kids' lunchboxes. God, this chapter is absolutely stacked. The The lengths of the chapters is definitely varying. Now, Saga has a really big one to do. It's like, okay, you didn't play a Saga for a while. Now we're going to give her next chapter a huge one. It must be so exciting to be the story's hero. Honestly, I'm a bit jealous. I wish I could be the protagonist of something. Okay. 
some manuscript pages. He's fucking losing it. It's just getting worse every single time. Every single like radio show is she's dead. And he's like, nope. <laughs> he's really stuck in that denial stage. God damn it, Pat. Wake up and smell the jerky. When Gil's just like, I don't fucking sell jerky, man. Um, we got a cult stash. But it, I need bolt cutters to get around there. Because I think that's outside, it looks like. Alright. Time for us to continue. Getting some more stuff. Um, Colt stash has been marked for us there and there. How nice of them. Well, let's start with what we know. We need to go find that laughing track. Let's go get our uh, Have a beautiful day. tape here. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> this is the laughter. Complete the overlap ritual. Investigate the parade float area. Oh, shit. I'm actually supposed to... I'm still supposed to be investigating in there. I'm getting ahead of myself by coming here. Okay. I investigated the parade float and just went, alright, cool. I know what I need. <laughs> Apparently not. I'll need to come back here. Oh, I missed some documents here. This is one weird cult. We are the cold of the tree. We watch in the night. I see it now. This is our mission. Make the woods scary again. It's a tree, a spruce tree. Keep them out. Keep them safe. Together we are forest cult of the tree. Rose. She's that waitress from the diner. Rose Marigold Observations. Okay, 21 to the 3rd, 2014. 
leaves home in car, arrives at Odia Diner, opens restaurant, spills a cup of coffee, stares at coffee puddle and seems suddenly delighted, begins talking animatedly to the puddle. Observer not in diner, did not hear her, goes on break, back from break, ate a sandwich and wrote in a notebook, stares at ceiling fan for approximately 50 seconds, smiling, leaves Odia Diner on foot, stops at pier and writes in notebook, stares at clouds and becomes upset, shaking her head and speaking up at the sky, leaves pier, arrives at car, enters, arrives home, watches TV, cooks dinner, macaroni and cheese, watches TV while eating, goes to bed, reads, the sudden stop, turns off light. Observation report, subject, the cold of the tree. Intermittent surveillance of the paracriminal group known as the cold of the tree shows that their operation is limited to a small area of Washington state. The group is reported to be made up of dedicated individuals equipped with only common tools. Overall level of organization is low. Overall comprehension of redacted is low. Our assessment yielded a category orange risk status. Further inquiry should be made as to the exact details and sources of their knowledge regarding paranatural elements. Investigation unit recommends the cold of the tree be kept under permanent surveillance with preparations made for the group's arrest and seizure of assets. See file 85-21-1027 for full report and recommended action summary and full report to be forwarded to Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont at the Cauldron Lake research site as both operate in a shared area. Addendum. Recommended action downgraded to continued intermittent surveillance, no arrest due to prioritization of resources. You were right. These sneaky fuckers are watching us and our level of organization is fine. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> okay. Don't need to go over all this again. So clicker at the garage, how to get the clicker back. Parade needs floats, and then here's the float information. Parade float has sound. Character should be moving. Character needs a mask. Puko is float prop. missing from the parade float. I need to put it together. Okay, I think with that in mind, we should be able to get the rest of the things now. There's a f hang on, there's a fuse? Oh. A fuse. Right there. I can use this to get the Espresso Express working. Okay, there you go. I dare say, investigation complete, we can now go and find the things that we want to find. Okay, Espresso Express. Let's see what we're doing here. There we go. Now I just need to stop it in a position that will let me get to that circuit board down there. Oh. I see. Okay, so I need to get it where there isn't a... Okay, this is going to be fun. I need to get it to stop. This, I'm gonna I'm gonna love doing this All right, I need to see how long it takes for it how many cars it takes for it to stop so if I press it at two it's almost a full rotation almost so I need to wait till it's over like the other side no that was too it was too much This is going to be annoying. Just let me in! 
<laughs> sake. So it's gonna be like this, huh? Thank you. Yeah, you just have to tap it when the the one that you want to stop is like there. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah. Oh God. Shit. Jesus. Um. Okay. How are we getting out of here? God. Well, it's the es Espresso Express now. And a manuscript page. Oh, we also haven't read the Koskela's Parade Float. So, Deputy's Corrupted. And we'll read this now. Ilmo stood in front of the Parade Float. Turned dramatically to his crew. Now, imagine the murderer's arms moving. Stab, stab, stab and then Naki laughing. Everyone at Deerfest always plays it safe, not us. This monument to Watery's history, this work of art will sweep this year's awards. The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. Nice. The killing of Monica Thompson was a terrible mistake. Thornton blamed Mulligan's itchy trigger finger. Mulligan blamed Thornton's shitty pastrami sandwich. They only agreed it wasn't their fault. No one will find her corpse. We'll hide it. They fed the body to the maw of a crumbling well, like the murderous Huatari brothers did long ago. They lied to everyone. The word would never get out. But a secret like this doesn't die. It grew inside them, like cancer. The darkness taking over. Filling the shape of them. Mm -hmm. Now just run right into it and see what happens. <laughs> I wonder if I can take the fuse out, actually. No, can't interact with it. It's just going to spin endlessly forever now. Oh, Jesus. Right out of the well, huh? You can't let me just pause the game for a sec. Like, literally as soon as I'm like... Oh, God. Why do you have to be... Why did you have to perish like that? Oh. Why must it be this way? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I hate that. Kind of exercise does coffee do? French presses. <laughs> there we go. Thank God. <laughs> Alright, I've got the tape. That's one down. Um, how does the arm move, I wonder? How do you think the arm moves? Because we need to get... multiple things. Cult symbol inspired by the FBC logo. Ilmo and Jaco Koskela? Highly unlikely the club would have a secret cult room below it without the Koskelas knowing. Okay, trail of the cult. So we need a mask. I think we can find those pretty easily. There was like pretty close by. Character should be moving. Parade has a sound. So we've got that. We need to find a knife. God, we gotta, we gotta go searching. Hi. 
broken door. Where's the where's the other one? Where are both of them? I want to get you together. Come on, both of you. What's going on here? Fuck is this? I think it's like a glitched part of the. It's supposed to be like the back of their thing, right? Their exposed weak point. It's just like glitching. I like using that explosive. You just gotta actually shoot it first for it to actually be useful. Here's our knife. Yes. A poker knife. Super safe. Alright, so we've got the knife, we've got the uh, the laugh, we need a mask, and we need like a moving mechanism. I mean, personally I would think in terms of the moving mechanism, I would think it would be similar to where we got the tape recorder because of the arm moving. I think we're going to have to get creative. And then in terms of the mask, I think we can find that in the workshop itself, because they had a whole bunch of uh, masks. Okay, they really love to have them coming out of... Okay, why is there two? Is that normal? That's the second time that's happened. Is it? Is that supposed to happen? The dual wielding axe people clone themselves into two, like they split into two. So this is the Coscula Brothers parade float. Oh. Looks like only four pieces are missing. The mask is the only one without a location list. The circuit board. Like, we already have the thing. I'm such an idiot. I'm like, we've literally been carrying around the circuit board. Oh, I need like a motor. Espresso Express. All right, we've got the circuit board already. Uh, silly me. God, we've been, just been like in this chapter for so long that my brain is like, huh? Gift shop. Easy. Okay. I can't make out what it says. Fair trade fun zone. Okay. I'm assuming the mask would just find it, like, in the workshop. Because there's plenty of masks. We just need a deer mask. Like, there's literally just, like, one right here. And there's one right here. And there's two here. But I don't know if it is allowing us to get them. So another one right here. Alright, I think we're going to have to try and find it elsewhere. So it's scratched out. That's our clue. Is missing a soundtrack? Ah, uh, profiling for the mask, okay. Maybe he needs one. Okay. The float killer used a knife. Art? Imitating life? Should the characters be moving? Figured out what the float is missing. Okay. Profiling time. The materials listed for the parade float mention a mask. Where is it? Poor Mokumus. 
He never failed to amuse me. No, we know, Ilmo. There is such a thing as too much coffee. Mocha will live on in a place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. Mulligan and Thornton must know where the Musco mask is. God damn it. Okay. They were responsible for the moose skull. They screwed something up. Um, okay, I have more profiling. I must profile the deputies now. The mask is missing. Where is it? The dead brought back to life. The crown of the Grand Master. Moose steak is never a mistake. Just get it fucking done. They know where it is. I know they know. God, they creepy. Where is the mask? Go ahead and bleach it. We all bow to him. The mark of the crumbling whale. Show the bitch who's mask. The well. Oh god, we gotta get it out of the well. The moose mask is at the Huatari well in Coffee World. Jesus. Well done, Saga. Very interesting profiling. They hid their victim's body in a well. Maybe that's not the only thing they hid. I saw something. Like I did in Cauldron Lake. The well here in Coffee World. I know the moose skull will be there. Oh, it's just fucking sitting there. I thought we would have to end up, like, using it. It's just there. Now I need to bring the mask to the float. Okay. Thank fucking God, because I honestly thought she was about to put this in her pocket. I love that, like, she actually carries it. <laughs> I'm like, no way that this is just going in my inventory. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, arrange the pieces. The moose skull goes here, obviously. There's your knife. Some creepy laughing for atmosphere. A little something to get those arms moving. Okay, Saga. Let's get the clicker from these assholes. We're climbing down, dude. Oh my god. All those faces. <coughs> what the hell? Where am I? Sure thing. Deputies in the morgue. Mulligan and Thornton in the wreckage of the morgue. Shadows on their faces. Thornton did his best woman's voice. I'm a stuck-up FBI bitch. I'll make a big fucking mess and get these dumb backwater cops to clean it up. <sighs> Thornton turned to his partner. These government motherfuckers. Next time, Mulligan, I'll tell her. 
You got no clue. You let your own kid drown. You're a fucking fraud. Mulligan leered. Pinning the murder on the bookers would have fixed this whole goddamn mess. But their kind always sticks together. I reckon we should show the bitch who's boss, Thornton. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Inside them, they grinned. Wow. Jesus, this is like what we are unearthing in just this episode alone. My god. Into the watery overlap. The float was about a murder. The specific content of the art seems significant for Lita. Alright, once more we find ourselves in the overlap. The sauna. Ah, I thought this would looked familiar. Yeah, this is where we are. This is where we are. Okay. Um, so this was where the people were standing before. So we'll be heading back into the town of Watery, but overlap version. Maybe somewhere else entirely. Mulligan's itching trick me. Hopefully this boss battle goes better than Nightingales, where I just panic ran around the whole place. Crack your skull like a brittle egg. Fellas, fellas, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Oh my god, in the well. Logan? Logan! I'm here! Remember, we had to Logan. go through that tree a few times. We have to go down the well a few times, maybe? Oh my god. The story is trying to take Logan. I can still stop this. I need the clicker. Ooh, once again, Alan. He has it now. Wake? <coughs> saw him this way in the other overlap. Uh-huh. Yeah, fucking hell. It's a loop. Just like before. Mm-hmm. Except there's some things that are different. Koskela stood in front of the small gathering of Coffee World employees and bikers. He read from a piece of paper. Mocha was a wonderful moose who deserves a place of honor in the Hall of the Calavella Knights. His skull will become the crown of the Grand Master. The dead brought back to life. There was polite applause. After the service, Ilmo had the body hauled off to be turned into moose steaks. Mulligan and Thornton were told to get the head cleaned. They both grabbed an antler. What the hell, Thornton? I got it, Mulligan. They brought the skull into the workshop to boil it and bleach it. They grumbled, wanted to just get it fucking done. It was just a stupid animal. But I guess moose steak is never a mistake, huh? Jesus. Yeah, and that's exactly what they said. Boil it, get it done. Gotta check every time, just in case.
Oh! Hey! Giant double exposure faces. that. I need to look for another way through. The Silent Hill to save well when you lose. I feel like it's digging around inside my skull. Jeez. Arty? The fuck? What? Oh my god, dude, just constantly following the music. Ugh! Artie! Hi! the fuck okay going down just, yep just normal activities very normal what a thrill What does that mean? Time is all over the place. The Allen that we have is probably not the Allen that's trying to communicate with us right now.
Oh, the whole water! It's all blood! shoebox opportunity here. That's nice of them. Um, Alright, we're gonna get another one of these. We'll get two flares. We'll have oh, two of those. That'll do the trick, I think. You ready for a fight? They won't be coming back. Ooh, of course it's empty. My fucking god. Okay. Oh, you're supposed to do that before him. They keep coming back in, uh, until you've uh, taken out all of the dark parts. There you go. Oh my god. Saga Anderson, listen. Wake? I, I've been tricked. Scratch room. I tried to fix the story, but. Has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? You're already out. So is Scratch. Silver Slip. Slip. making progress. I wrote to be the story's hero. Save her family. Save us all. Save her family? 
Are you talking about my family? Yes, yes. You know it's working. You just need to keep going. Did you put my family in the horror story? I keep seeing him in overlaps, but he's already out. Are these visions coming from the past, when he was still trapped in the dark place? Yo. I have the clicker. I can stop this nightmare. End of chapter. Oh my lord. This was a big one. This was absolutely, absolutely stacked. There was so much going on in here that I'm like even having to like wrap my head around everything. It's just been so much of just this constant like revelation upon mystery, upon confusing story beat. I hear your tears at night. And I, I love it. God, there's like the set pieces are so well done. The atmosphere, the horrifying elements are just amazing. God damn. Obviously, for you, this chapter has been split up into two episodes at least because I've been sat here recording for four hours <laughs> throughout the Alan Wake's haunting chapter and then um this chapter with with saga this music is so well done at the end of each chapter as well saga gets more unique ones alan seems to be getting the same loop related song <laughs> You know what that means? It's time to bring this episode of Alan Wake 2 to a close. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for this episode. Uh, next time, we'll see if we play more as Alan, play more as Saga, we'll see. But there's definitely more to explore, more to take in. Even in that area that we were in as Saga, there's more for us to take in for sure. Lunch boxes, stashes, all of that kind of stuff. We'll take it in. But thank you so much for joining me for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.